Um, what? Is it going to be like I square or something? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to get through this. Now, when multiplying this, if you guys remember when we were doing FOIL and factoring, we talked about how to multiply um, binomials to get them using the FOIL. Obviously, you can you apply the distributive property. Remember, the distributive property states when you have a term outside of an expression, you have to multiply each term times every other term. You do have to do this one, and then you can do it with that one. However, that can sometimes get messy. So what you guys, what we talked about in like Algebra 1 was using FOIL, right? Yes, you guys can use FOIL. The way that I prefer to do it is using the box method because that just helps me keep everything contained. So what I do is I put one binomial on the top and the other binomial on the other side. Then I basically just multiply to find the area of each of the boxes. So 2 times 3 is 6. Actually, this is a new problem. 2 times negative 4i is negative 8i. i times 3 is 3i. And i times negative 4i is negative 4i squared. Now, I did forget to mention, ladies and gentlemen, um, we talk about 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. 5 times 3 is equal to 15, right? 5x um, plus 3x is equal to 8x. However, um, but you cannot do, um, uh, let me put it this way, sorry. You cannot do 5 plus 3x. You cannot combine those, right? You can't combine those, right. But you can multiply that. You can do 5 times 3x, which is 15x. Right? But you can't add, you can't add a number plus a number with a variable. The same thing. You can't add 2 minus 3i, right? You can't do 3 minus 4i, but you can multiply them just like what we did with variables. Okay? So that's why 2 minus 4i, you multiply the real numbers. 2 times negative 4. Does that make sense? Okay. So that's where I get this. Now let's write it out. 6 plus 3i minus 8i minus 4i squared. Now, what's important about this is you guys could have combined this first of all, right? So what's 3i minus 8i? Negative 5i. Negative 5i. Then what does i squared represent? Oh, uh, how many, negative, like, one. negative 1. Oh, now, what is negative 4 times negative 1? Four. Positive 4. And then again, ladies and gentlemen, we're combining, right? We can only combine 4 with 6. We can't combine 4 with negative 5i. So it's 10 minus 5i. Notice how I always write my answer in a, my a plus bi, or a minus bi, right? It's always the real minus the imaginary, or real plus the imaginary. Does everybody see that? No. No. What do you not see? <laughs> 